Aries, this is Soul. And Aries, we're going to look at uh, the month of November regarding love and relationships. Uh, messages will be for Aries suns, moons, risings, Venuses, singles, couples, Aries who are into same-sex loving energies. Uh, my fellow Rams, I hope all is well. This uh, month, of course, I'm using my favorite um, go-to tarot to deliver your love messages. And this is the Victorian Romantic um, Tarot, 4th edition, two lovers, two uh, devils, and two emperors. Now, all these cards are being read in the upright position, but when I did uh, Pisces, a couple of them, you know, showed up in the uh, reverse, but I'm reading them all in the upright, okay? So, um, also to complement your reading here, uh, Aries, I'm using my new deck that I received, which I've fallen in love with instantly, is the Lips Don't Lie oracle and then uh closing out the reading throwing some uh cards from my own deck that i have created and that souls love oracle okay so let's begin with the energies here to see what is potentially coming up and always tell you guys take what resonates leave the rest alone <laughs> okay this is all for entertainment purposes only me interpreting the uh energies as i see it Messages for Aries regarding love and relationships. Won't be discussing any other areas or aspects of your life as well. All right, three good cuts, and then we're going to begin your, your messages and your story, Aries. Okay, let's begin. The first card opens us up with the energy of the Temperance card, Major Arcana. I like that. It's a relationship card. Balance being restored, coming back to you. If there was something that was out of balance. Now, this is the devil. This is the second devil in the deck. The other one showed up for um, Pisces. So the devil here is about bad habits and bad relationships that need to come up to the surface and uh, be discussed, clear the air. Two of Pentacles is juggling two people, uh, could be dating two people, two, uh, an interest in two people, two people interested in you. Then we have the Ace of Wands, aspect of some sort of news coming in very quickly for you and gear that energy towards your uh, relationship. Also with the Ace of Wands is a touch of surprise. Um, three of Wands, positive energy, either you know, a relationship is moving in the direction that you want. There's uh, also to the uh, energy of long distance relationships. So you may be traveling uh, to visit somebody of interest or someone who is at a distance to you who's coming to travel to see you. It's very positive. And, you know, the Ace of Wands, Three of Wands is part of your energies. Now we have the Hierophant, someone's keeping secrets. Uh, three major arcana so far, uh, opposites attract. It is a relationship card. Someone could be getting married in the month of November. We are now presented with the four of wands. Uh, someone could be taking a relationship another step further, moving in, deciding to move in. Um, celebrations, okay? Could have something to do with Thanksgiving. Ten of wands is you're going to be very busy this month with regards to your relationship. And that's simply what the ten of wands means. Okay, uh, next up we have the tower. Okay, so you guys have the tower. Now, rem remember I always tell you guys when the tower shows up and I'm doing these general love readings, it could be the sexual energy, okay? Sexual chemistry, sexual explosion, multiple orgasms. We're all adults here. We can handle the, um, you know, conversation here. So that may be all that it is, but I'll talk about that tower um, a little bit more. And then, you know, keep in mind that you have the blessings of the uh, temperance and the high priest is to knock that tower's energy down if it's not involving sexual chemistry, sexual energy. Last card for you is the nine of wands, just double energy of being busy when it comes to your relationship. Then the shadow is the social card, four of cups. So put your energy out there. If you're a single Aries, put your energy out there. There's people to meet, socialize. You may be introduced to new people. You could be that Aries that, you know, uh, go solo and then you know you're a good socializer and you know how to strike up conversations make conversation and get things started so do that if you are single um there are places to go uh and have fun and there's pay uh, you know definitely wherever you go decide to go there's people to meet okay just having a great time uh even number of cups so the energy that you put out there you're going to uh, get back for the couples it could be that you just you know 
in the month of socializing of, you know, in the month of November, I'm sorry, just socializing. We do have the Thanksgiving, so it could be getting together with family, getting together with friends, just enjoying um, being around each other's company and sharing that love and getting that love back. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces represents that four of cups. So let's get right into... Um, Okay, so let's get more into the tower uh, and see what this is all about. The tower still would represent, you know, shakeups and breakups, okay, arguments. So there could be an aspect that some Aries, you know, with their partners experience some sort of, uh, you know, arguments, shouting, um, you know, a little bit of destruction, but it doesn't always indicate, you know, like a breakup or anything like that. Sometimes, you know, you need that energy just to make sure that, you know, you are actually in a relationship. You know, sometimes, you know, you just go through a relationship and everything's honky-dory. No, spice it up a little bit, okay? Start an argument um, just to see, you know, if the person is still there. And um, it's just getting out all of those things that you may have uh, always wanted to get out. Something that may have been, you know, upsetting regarding them or vice versa. You know, it could be their mannerisms. It could be their characters, anything. Okay. So that's the tower's influence, a uh, sudden change, um, something that happens abruptly. Um, yes, tower. All right. So the got the tower out of the way, but if there is any types of disturbances or imbalances or anything, we got the temperance card, which is always bringing that balance back into restoration. It is a relationship card once again. So new unions could be formed or yeah, definitely formed. Uh, this is a card that fosters peace, harmony. This is, you know, self-love, worth, um, sharing your energy and your love and your joy, your happiness, um, you know, with other people. Okay. With other people. All right. So following the, uh, temperance card, let's get into, uh, the uh, high priestess. Uh, temperance, by the way, represents uh, Sagittarius. It is part of your energies, Aries, and as well as Leo. So this is the opposites attract. This is the secrets being kept. The billowing smoke is always about a mystery. So it could be uh, you meet a mystery or mysterious person, or you could be, you know, that Aries that's already with someone and there's still some sort of energy that relates to them being mysterious. Um... Pay attention to your intuition this month. Always go with what you feel regarding your relationships as, you know, your own personal guys trying to grab your attention so that you can uh, make the, you know, the best choices for yourself. Um, you can meet somebody new if you're the single Aries and that person is completely different from you um, regarding age, regarding race, regarding religion, living in a different city, state, country, town. It doesn't really matter. There will be something different about them. Now, I know I mentioned this before in the general weekly readings, but the difference that I'm suggesting here, Aries, is you know significant. There's something significant here, okay? will be something significant. So this uh, high priestess represents uh, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Four of Wands, marriage card, okay? Um, someone could be, you know, getting married, celebrating. Uh, like I said before, it could be in the form of getting together with family members, um, you know, and celebrating uh, Thanksgiving. It could be friends. Someone decides to take the plunge, move in. It's always about the happiness shared inside a structure of a building. Ten of Wands we spoke about basically with the Nine of Wands just being ex <laughs> extremely busy. Okay, extremely busy. Aries in the month of November. Uh, doing things with your existing partners. Putting your energy out there if you are single. Remember you have the blessing of the Four of Cups in your uh, shadow. Socializing. So feeling very energized and, you know, tackling all the things that are going to be necessary for you to do when it comes to your relationship. Ten of Wands is part of your energies, Leo and Sagittarius. The Ace of Wands is the aspect of some sort of news coming in quickly. Gear that towards your relationship, as I mentioned before. And also, too, um, over top of the tower, this may be an extreme or a double surprise going on, okay? And don't forget the Ace of Wands here is the start of new passion. So it's just, you know, the start of some new passion. 
things starting to heat up, intensify. Two of Pentacles is just juggling two things, two people. You may have an interest in two people. Two people may be interested in you. Um, maybe, you know, there's some sort of indecision here as to who you want to continue to date. Um, and, you know, coming down to eliminate one. Or you just may, you know, enjoy dating two people. And, you know, you have that energy to handle all of that. It's minor energy. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, so two of pentacles here represents Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. So the devil here, uh, Major Arcana, is um, feeling restricted, bound to a situation, person, or an event. Um, this card here represents, you know, the devil casting an illusion, uh, making you feel that, you know, the situation that you are involved in, geared toward your relationship, is as real as, as real is going to get. No, that's the false energy. It could be the possible false energy for some of you. And I always tell you the people that you're dealing with, always make sure that you understand them, know them, because if they show you who they are, then you have to believe them, okay? Uh, having to address some sort of bad habits, possibly Aries that may be, um, you know, uh, impacting or affecting your relationship, if it's on a personal level, or it's the energy that you have a connection with, and they're dealing with some sort of, you know, bad habits or, you know, addictions, drinking, smoking, gambling, sexual uh, energies, it needs to be addressed. Okay, the devil always comes through to have you uh, to acknowledge something is not quite right with an existing relationship. So the devil here represents Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. All right, so um, three of wands here. Somebody could be traveling. Someone could be traveling, like I said before, long distance relationship. Either you're traveling to see them or they're coming to travel to see you. In other words, uh, in terms of information for the other areas, it may be that there is a relationship that you currently may be in that's moving in the direction that you want. Okay, so either you're, that relationship is um, positive, you know, positively driven, or there's some sort of positive energy that will be driven towards you. All right, so that's what I have for you, uh, and it's not too bad, Aries, for the month of November. All right, so let's see what the uh, Lips Don't Lie Oracle have to say. This is the energy of the persons that you are uh, in relationships or have some sort of dealings with, their thoughts, intentions, and feelings towards you. And um, so far, this deck is uh, turning out to be exactly what I hoped it to be, okay? It's just, and it mentions your person. So that's what I like about it even more. Okay. And uh, by the way, Aries, if this general reading here doesn't resonate, you can always use the energy of the lips don't lie. You can use it in combination. I always tell you guys you can use it however the hell you want. Whatever fits into your, you know, your situation. If it doesn't fit, don't bother about it. All right, let's begin here, uh, Aries. The first message for you is patience. This situation requires patience. Relax and go with the flow. Anything of value takes time to blossom. Don't be tempted to rush into things before they're meant to happen. All right, that's a message for somebody. Player, this one here says your person is playing the field of chooses. Oh, your person is playing the field and chooses to be single at the moment. Someone chooses to be free to date whoever they want without being tied down. All right. Third message here for you is wish. Make a wish. A wish you have uh, comes true. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. A.K.A. make sure you are certain you want who and what you're wishing for. Wow, that's powerful. Shadow energy here for you. Um, and your last message is uh, sent from heaven. You have found your personal. Oh, I'm sorry. You have found your person. You have met a divine connection. You two go together like a hand in glove. The chemistry between you two is out of this world. You may find yourself feeling things you never felt before. Oh, I like that one. 
that's what I have for you for Lips Don't Lie, uh, Aries. And see, like I said, you can use these as opposed to the general message, or you can use these and connect this. <clears throat> All right. So well, let's see what Soul's Love Oracle message wants to add to your to your reading. All right, so the first message is uh, beauty and blessings. Beauty and blessings is just what it is. The beauty of a relationship, being in a relationship, the blessings of being in a relationship. Uh, it still could be for those singles out there, you know, the beauty. Use that message however you want in the blessings. The female energy just simply means sexual energy. Uh, so there could be, you know, um, in connection here with uh, the tower. When I mentioned, you know, those uh, multiple orgasm or having some sort of excitable sexual energy take place in the month of November. That's female energy partaking. Next one up is uh, celebration. OK, this is in line with the four of wands. So there is a celebration. There need to celebrate. Uh, in the month of November, of course, Thanksgiving, but it also could be celebrating a relationship. The last card here is un <laughs> unrequited love. I just spoke about unrequited love with the devil. Too much energy being poured into the, um, if I did mention it, I should have, because that devil always uh, brings up unrequited love. Too much energy being poured into the energy of someone else, and you're not getting that energy back in return. So here we have the unrequited love to validate that there could be something that is occurring or happening with someone. Someone is spending too much time and uh, energy on someone who is not either um, giving them that time or paying them that much attention back. Okay, And that can oftentimes be very, very painful. Um, you know, and, and hard to, you recognize it, but it's really hard to break the cycle. Again, that's the devil. Okay. He keeps drawing you into that energy. Um, thinking that, you know, the person's going to change or, you know, the feelings may develop or something that, you know, you do more than likely if you are the Aries that's dealing with some sort of unrequited love feelings for another person, you've done everything that you could possibly do. And uh, either the person is not budging or not interested. And yet there is that hope that there is some type of energy or a spark that will take place. All right. So this is what I have for you in the month of November. Aries, please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Please enjoy and be safe in the month of November. Enjoy the holiday. Um, keep smiling for me and I will talk to you soon. And keep in mind, this is just me interpreting the messages as I see fit. Uh, if it's useful, so be it. If it's not, don't worry about it. Take care. Bye.